Welcome back to my channel, Pretty Inspired Decor. My name is Shelley, and I'm about to take you on an adventure of how I decorate for Christmas. Christmas is my favorite season to decorate our home, and today I'm going to show you how we decorate our mantle in our family room for Christmas. So the first thing I should tell you is that when we finished this space, the first thing we did was look for a fireplace with a large enough mantle that would hold our Christmas village. What my husband does every year is he actually creates layers by using old hardwood flooring and blocks of wood to create the three tiers so that you can see all parts of the village. And you'll notice that we have several homes, several other pieces like the North Pole Station and the Kringle Cottage with a little train in the middle. We have a, a number of trains in our home for Christmas. It really makes it fun. Some of them are in trees, some of them are under trees, but you'll get to see those later. And every piece of this village by Kurt S. Adler means something very special to both my husband and to me. I won't tell you what everything means to us, but almost every piece in here was a gift from him to me or a gift from me to him. When you are creating a vignette or when you are starting a series, you don't have to have everything in the series be actually part of the series. A number of the trees in this vignette are not part of the series. The Santa who adorns the upper corner and the snowman who adorns the other corner, they're not part of the series at all. We found those in a really cool Christmas shop in St. Jacob's, which is a shop in Ontario. And we knew as soon as we saw them, they would fit in perfectly with our Christmas village. So when you actually have something that you're trying to put together, don't confine yourself to only buying in that particular series because you'll frustrate yourself. A lot of the stuff, you know, when you're buying a village or whatever, those pieces are very expensive. So if you're willing to think outside of the village, so to speak, you certainly can make your village more visually interesting and, and enjoy it a little bit more. We certainly enjoy looking at this village in the evening when the lights are low because every piece of it, at least of the houses, lights up. Above the village, you'll notice I have put a wreath. Uh, that, that wreath is very inexpensive. I got it at HomeSense a number of years ago. But I do like to put wreaths in my villages because I just think that it makes them more visually interesting. And if you think about it, look how pretty that entire village looks just because there's a wreath above it. When I decorate underneath my mantle, you'll notice that once again, I swag my garland because I certainly couldn't put that garland on top of the mantle. You wouldn't be able to see anything or I'd have to create another layer and that would then take the village too close to the ceiling. So that just wouldn't work in our space. You might want to try that in your own space, but it just doesn't work in our space. So I like to swag my girl and I have three little teacup hooks actually that I put right into the wood and that really holds heavy garland well. That is really good garland and we really enjoy working with this garland. We bought it a number of years ago at Costco. It's the best garland I have ever purchased. And believe me, we've purchased a lot of garland in our years. I start decorating this garland with three large ornaments. They are from the Alice in Wonderland series that Bowering carried a number of years ago. You'll notice right in the middle, there's a funky and fun Christmas tree with a little face on it. On each end, one had, they, on each end there is a wreath. And again, these are all made of ceramic and they're so much fun. I love the, the fun and the whimsical faces and the fun and the whimsical feet on all of them. Then once I have those on, we make sure that we wrap our garland in ribbon and in some um, little tiny wooden beads. 
You can't see much of the beads because there's so many other things on this garland, but it really makes the garland more fun, more fun and more whimsical. That particular ribbon is not Christmas ribbon, believe it or not. I bought that not at a Christmas time of the year at all, but I thought for this particular scene and for this, this family room, that it was actually very, very fun. We call this family room a child's Christmas because when you, when I ultimately do a, 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 a video of the entire family room, you're going to see that if you were a child, how much you would love being down here because it's just a feast for the eyes if you are a wee child. On this garland, I have all sorts of sparkly ornaments from Pier 1 that I bought a number of years ago. The little Santa hats with fur, the little stockings with snowmen in them. There's also little tiny uh, red bells. I have about 30 of those throughout my space. I also have some gold stars. I really like decorating with gold, so I think that just sort of brings that together. And you'll, you'll notice that I like using stars a lot, so I wanted to have some stars in this particular vignette as well. And if you take a look sort of at near the bottom of the garland, you'll notice that I have some ornaments that are hanging down and that I have tucked into the back of the garland to give the garland more dimension. Then the third layer of this mantle is actually the floor piece of the, of the mantle. And you'll notice I have a beautiful snowman that my dad and his wife Pam gave us a number of years ago. He's a very cherished uh, Christmas piece in our home and he always adorns our mantle. Beside that, I decorated a little grouping of three. I have a little bucket on the floor with a little wooden ornament stuck in it. And I also have two more funky and fun, one dimensional, not three dimensional, but one dimensional little um, snowman and, and little reindeer. And that just sort of makes it fun. And the final thing I have that I say is still part of my mantle is of course my rocking chair. That my friends, some of them really like to sit in that rocking chair. So they have to take the little, the little Santa Claus out of it. Once again, that Santa came from St. Jacob's. It was a handmade Santa, absolutely gorgeous. Had it for years and I, and I, and I adore it. Of course, I added a little tiny pillow, all hearts come home for Christmas. I bought that pillow when my daughter was away at university and when she came home, she noticed it as soon as she came into this space. So, you have seen part one of my Christmas series for 2018. I want you to know that this Christmas series, all parts of it, and at this point I'm not even sure how many different, different parts there will be, is actually dedicated to my good friend Melissa, who passed away from cancer um, almost a year ago in December 2017. She was a special dear, dear friend of mine. My husband and I traveled with her and with her husband and we've been good friends for a number of years. Melissa, before she passed away and certainly for many years before that, always encouraged me to you know, enter my home and to different contests and I never did. She always said to me, Shelley, why don't you do something on YouTube? And when she got really ill last year, she talked to me about it a little bit more seriously and I said I would think about it. And that's why I started my YouTube channel. So I hope you enjoyed part one of a several part series for Christmas 2018. Bye bye. See you next time.